Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to show you how to make a technical drawing of this element. This is a lesson uh, task for students. Upon request I would like to show the strategy how to make it. I will use the free software QCAD and I will arrange the screen so that one side I will see the element large as large as possible to see many details and on the other side there will be the workplace. I will load the template file what is created uh, for us with the specific layers for contour, dimension, symmetry I will use them maybe the helper lines too for projection. Okay let's see since it is very symmetric and included in circle, I will organize uh, things ar around the origin. So the zero, 00 coordinate I imagine here in the middle of the element. Regarding the size, you can see that there are A and B additional letters in the dimension. Now I will consider them 00. zero. So 70 will be the radius of this uh, bounding circle and uh, 10 will be the height of the element. Let's see how we start. For sure, first we need this bounding circle which includes everything with 70 radius. So I need a circle with a specific radius and the radius will be 70 and then I include it here. It became so big, so the zoom auto ZA uh, hotkeys will show me the complete circle. Later I can delete part of it if it is not necessary, but here I have. I need a nice long uh, symmetry axis. I will put it into the middle of the circle. So I need a vertical line which should be at least this length, maybe a little bit longer, so I will make it uh, more than 140, let's say 160. And where I click will be the middle of the line. I will click on the center of the circle, so the center of the circle for sure it is. So I just clicked on the circle and automatically it was placed in the center. We have three corners symmetrically placed, so basically I have to rotate this symmetry axis with the modification tools 120 degree to have the position of the three corners. So I will rotate around uh, the center point. I need two additional copies with 120 degree and now I have it. So the top, the bottom right, bottom left part Okay, the difficulty of this drawing is that we have 10 radius circles at the corner touching uh, this 70 radius circle from inside. So we need touching circles. The easiest way is to do it already on contour that we have the need of 10 millimeter radius. So if I put it here and then put the circle into the intersection point it will touch the circle from inside. Again, repeat. So I need a circle with 10 radius. I will put first here to the intersection and when I move it inside, it will touch the circle. One more here and here. Of course, it is also possible that we draw only once and then we can uh, rotate them all around. The challenge can be that we have a 150 radius arc which is touching these small circles from outside. We have infinite number of uh, perimeter points so we don't know exactly where it will touch the circles but we don't have to figure it out the center of the circle is only one for all the infinite number of perimeter points. So if we can draw an arc to the centers, then we can shift it parallel 
uh, with radius and we have the final curve. How is it working? We have 150 radius. If we move it 10 millimeter away, then it will be 140. So we have to search for a tool which have two points and radius. I have it. The radius will be 140 10 millimeter less because I get closer to the center of uh, the circle. So from center of the circle to the center of the circle and that's it. Now I have it. The only thing I have to do to get a parallel one 10 millimeter away and you can see that it will touch. So to make it a little bit faster I will turn this again around the center twice with 120 degree and now I have the internal triangle and then I can get parallel curves with 10 millimeter away that's it okay how I know that they are touching I can remove the unnecessary uh, parts because you can see here that 10 millimeter away there is a one internal curve parallel to the outline so I can keep the inside part I just have to remove the unnecessary parts of the small circle here too okay and this I can keep because I will need it to draw uh, with 30 radius I oh, sorry with 30 radius I will need one circle there 30 radius I have to get it from the intersection point maybe it is not really visible if I uh, zoom it larger uh, the center of this arc uh, is coming from here so I put into the intersection and basically it is ready uh, what I can do just trim everything uh, what is not necessary I deleted one it will be enough already uh, to have a beginning and end of the arc because the circle doesn't have beginning and end and we need five millimeter radius to make rounded shape so I go around make the five millimeter radius rounded shape this bottom I don't need because uh, this triangular shape I will rotate around the center again 120 degree and now I have it in all corners the middle will be 40 and 30 diameter circles so I can put into the middle uh, circles with diameter of 30 and 40 millimeter okay and the shape is ready uh, the top part of the shape I just have to remove some parts for example uh, this symmetry axis is not really necessary the other we can keep other two we can keep uh, the circle I can uh, break out some parts of the bounding circle which includes everything I don't really need it I can make it shorter adjust the length with let's say minus 10 it will be okay the ending part I click will be shorter and now I can start uh, adjusting the dimensions to finish the top completely and in the dimensions I have a lot of radius information of course the radius will be radius so I have to click on it and I can put the position I like it will be automatically placed inside or outside depending on the size of the text okay here two and maybe here two okay similar to this curve I have two additional uh, size uh, nodes uh, the large radius which is in with pointer because uh, the center will be somewhere there and it will be distract the drawing so I will use a pointer 
I touch any element, any point uh, of the element, sorry, any point. The nearest one I touch, I zoom in and then with auto intelligence I will get it a bit longer and on this I can put my text R150, it will be R150 and the height should be 2.5 if you didn't change the default settings. If you changed of course please apply your uh, size, text size and I can put it uh, over the text. It can be closer or farther uh, as you wish but now I have the correct dimension. I will need this 10 millimeter uh, still here to say what is the distance between the parallel curves. Be careful this is curve too because it is parallel with 10 millimeter. First I need a helper line uh, to able to get a position where I can exactly get the 10 millimeter. So I will use orthogonal line orthogonal to this curve, I always read uh, what is written here next to the mouse pointer, it helps me. Where it should be, oh the length of one is not enough because it will be 10, I think I can say 30 now and you can see that as I move it around it will be always perpendicular uh, to, to this, so the distance will be exactly 10 millimeters. I can check because uh, this can be placed with aligned uh, size. So one intersection, other intersection, position somewhere out of the drawing and now I have and the helper line I can uh, remove if not necessary and basically the top is ready. With the bottom I have a small problem that I don't know what is the length of this horizontal line because I should project uh, the thickness, the width of uh, this element. So first I will start with a horizontal line, a long one from the middle and on contour line I will put it at the end of the uh, symmetry axis and then 10 millimeter away I will have another one below because this will be uh, the element and uh, here at the drawing because 10 and 50 millimeter, 5 millimeter away the top is there so the distance will be 5 millimeter and I have to put the top. Now it comes the question what is the width of uh, these things. So using the helper line I can get it easily. I will make a vertical line uh, down, not upside, I would like it down and if I come here I should find the reference point because the reference point you can see the reference title next to the mouse pointer is not the intersection it is the reference point, the most wide point of the element. Okay, specify position I cannot for some reason. Now, 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 what is this reference? I was not close enough. Zoom auto. Now you can see what is the length of it. We can draw the contour lines from intersection to intersection. Again, from intersection to intersection. Similarly, I can also project this if I don't want to make anything uh, with parallel lines because it is also possible that I just draw parallel lines here and then connect it. Uh, oh, sorry. So it can work the way that I have parallel lines with radius. Uh, one is 15, one is 20, so the radius is 15 for the smaller one, 20 for the big one. You can see which side I click, uh, it will be there. And on the contour line I just connect the intersections 
and basically the shape is ready. Now I just have to clean it because there are many, many unnecessary lines. I will use the trim both function, trim this with this, horizontal with slant, horizontal with vertical. Uh, I will remove the helper lines to click for sure the contour line. And now I have the shape. The helper lines are not necessary anyway. I can just hide them. And the two dimensions missing uh, here are the diameters first. So I need diameters. I turn on the diameter sign and you can see here from here to there on dimension layer, the smaller one and the bigger one, the diameter sign. Okay. The thickness uh, of the, the width of this element, I will not say because uh, it is automatically uh, calculated or coming from the projection, but we need uh, the height of this element. So from here to here, outside, from corner to corner, outside. And now it seems to be ready. So we are ready with the element. Just to make it a little bit more beautiful, I will lengthen a little bit uh, the vertical axis, maybe plus 50 millimeter to be it uh, longer. And I will break to clean it around the, uh, the dimensions. So I will click on it and cut at intersection. It means that I will make shorter minus 10 millimeter this way. One more. Okay. But uh, the other maybe I can make it longer a little bit. And now it is ready completed. So this is the strategy. What I suggest to make the drawing first, the symmetry axis and the bounding circle and then uh, the corner small circles touching uh, the big one from inside. And then we can uh, draw the touching arc of those small circles easily. Uh, the key here is that we can draw the touching curves to the center of the small circles, not the perimeter, because there are infinite number of perimeter points. We don't know which one we have to touch. Meanwhile, the center is only one very well defined point. So that was the only trick I had to use uh, from geometry. And now it is finished. Thank you very much for your attention.